inside the waistband or outside the waistband? Is one better than the other? Let's find out. I'm Richard, USCCA training manager and certified instructor. And today we're gonna to be discussing the pros and cons of inside the waistband and outside the waistband holsters. So let's start with inside the waistband. One of the nice things about inside the waistband is retention. It keeps that gun firmly placed beside your body, inside your pants, so that you don't have to worry about that gun falling loose or, or falling out. Another nice thing about inside the waistband is concealability. Again, this is inside your pants, so it's a lot easier to put layers of clothing over it to keep it hidden from people who are around you. Some of the downsides though might be comfort. Again, because it's inside your pants, it's up against, it's up close against your body. So if you're not you're changing the size of pants that you wear or adjusting for it in other ways, it might get uncomfortable over the day. You're also limited in the size of the guns that you might carry depending on your body size. So if you want to carry that full size gun, maybe an inside the waistband holster isn't going to work. Another thing to think about with inside the waistband holsters is accessing the gun while it's in the holster. Now how, how many layers of clothes do you have to get through to get to that gun and get it into the fight? So those are some of the things to think about with inside the waistband. Let's talk about outside the waistband holsters. Some of the pros here is comfort, you know, because it's not stuck against your body and it's sitting outside your pants, you know, it's not riding that tight against you all day. So it's a lot more comfortable to carry outside the waistband. Another thing is access. It's a lot easier to reach that gun because it's not buried under as many layers of clothing. It's a lot easier to get to when you need it. You're also able to carry larger guns typically because you know it's outside of your clothing, not stuck inside. Now, some of the cons though might be that retention. Again, you can get a great high quality outside the waistband holster that has some type of retention devices, but typically speaking, it's gonna be a little harder to maintain control of that firearm if you do get into a fight because it's outside of your waistband and not inside your clothes. Another thing too is concealability. A lot of people, because it's outside the waistband, they have to carry that four o'clock position. And if it's not the right holster or not the right day or not the right jacket that you're wearing, that gun might be more visible to people around you. Now, other things you wanna think about in addition to the things I've mentioned, regardless of outside or inside the waistband carry, what is the climate that I'm walking in? You know, is it hot outside? Is it muggy? Those things are gonna affect which type of holster you wanna wear. What type of clothes are you wearing? Now, if you've been carrying for a while, you've realized that your, your wardrobe is going to change to accommodate the gun that you're carrying. If you carry a lot of light materials or you wear a lot of light materials, you, know, you might have to consider it an inside the waistband versus an outside the waistband. Something else to think about would be your occupation. Where do you work? Is it a gun-friendly environment? How concealed does that gun really need to be? Other things to think about are, are body types. You know, we're not all the same size and shape, and some holsters just aren't gonna work for some types of people, simply because of you know, your, your body frame, your structure. I know a lot of people who are a smaller, slimmer frame really struggle with concealing a gun in the appendix position, just because of how their body size is. Other things you wanna think about are physical limitations. Can you reach your hand behind you to get to that gun in the outside the waistband holster? What, what works for you? Maybe it's not outside or inside the waistband. Maybe it's gonna be that off body in a fanny pack in your waist. I know uh, someone who carries concealed every day, but he's in a wheelchair. So he carries in a, a fanny pack in front of him. So that's not either one of those options. Ultimately, inside the waistband and outside the waistband holsters both have their pros and cons. The important thing is to figure out what's gonna work for you. And a lot of those other things I mentioned, like the climate, where you work, what you wear, your body style, are gonna be a lot more important when it comes to factoring in that ability to retain the gun in the holster, conceal it, and allow you to get to it quickly. Before you go, quick reminder, we have a secret gun giveaway going on right now. You can enter for free, but it ends really soon. Just click the link in the description below to reveal which brand new gun you could win.